Welcome back to another video guys. Let's have a look at Bitcoin and Ethereum today. I want to check them out and see what's going on, mainly because we're seeing Bitcoin sit at all time highs. And I think there might be a little bit of a dump, a little bit of a downside coming, especially because we've been talking about Bitcoin catching up to the 20 week EMA or the 20 week MA. And Ethereum will also have a bit of a fall if that happens against its USD. But I think it might hold its value against BTC. So I want to have a look at Bitcoin and Ethereum today, see if we have some buying opportunities coming up in the near future and potentially what's going to happen in the next few weeks. So let's move across to the charts. Here we are at Bitcoin. Let's check it out on a daily chart first because I'm noticing a few little differences here with the volume. We see yesterday, which just closed two and a half hours ago, uh, the volume increased a little, a little more than the day before, but we're still finding this resistance at the uh, the level just above us, right around there, 19,400. And we're just not able to close above that. So if I break that down into a four hour, let's see if we're getting anything up here. It's just, it's just not happening at the moment. And overall, the volume is getting lower the more we continue to climb and the volume is lower as we hit the lows. So it is just starting to contract a fair bit more. We're so close to that 19,400 at the moment. We're just a couple, well, you know, like 300 ish dollars off that I wouldn't even bother personally, not financial advice. Of course, I'm not even bothering to enter any more Bitcoin or Ethereum at this stage because the upside risk is so small. Like if it broke another three, four hundred dollars, then sweet. OK, let's let's continue buying in if we want to. Otherwise, I see the downside as being much more involved. I, I see a lot more potential to save to the downside. I think we could go another 14 percent, if not at the very best. I'm not saying it's going to happen. Hold your horses at the very best, about 25 ish, maybe 27 percent, because I'm looking at around that fourteen thousand dollars. Now, of course, the longer we hold up at these levels, at this nineteen or eighteen thousand dollar level, we of course have the moving average, which will continue to catch up. Now, of course, the moving averages are lagging indicators. I don't use them to trade as such, but I do use them as indicators to uh, understand if we are starting to slow or speed up, and if we're going to come back to that point. Because we know from experience that Bitcoin comes back to the twenty-week moving average in a bull trend. And at the moment, the moving average is around 13 and a half thousand. Let's have a look at that. So there's our 20 week moving average. It's currently sitting at 13,700 and it's gaining at about $400 per week, around 400, 450, just depending how long we stay up here. Uh, so at 13,700 by next week, if we continue to stay up here at another $400. So it brings us to around 14,100. So we're going to be up at around this point. Another week at around these levels, 14,500. Uh, that's going to bring us out to about here. Another week, 14,900. So you start to see the pattern of how this moving average is going to play out. So I'll just draw that on here so you can see what I'm talking about. Something like, like that, right? And again, like I said, the longer we stay up here, the more that's going to continue to rise up and then it will start to slow out a little bit like like that. Right. So that's why I think it's still a possibility of this just doing its thing, maybe having a sharp drop to that and then just starting to consolidate at these higher levels. But so far, 14,000 is still a beautiful level. We can see that there was resistance there. There was a little resistance here on this week. Uh, there was a lot of action back in early 2018. So it's not a surprising level if it was to fall back to that point. I think that may happen because we've just spent so much time at this level at the top. We see a little, I guess, intraday. Let's bring it down to a three day chart. You can see like a little swing that's played out here and it's tried to break above it in the last few days. And it's lowering volume as it continues to try and break. Even if we do get a break, I don't think it's it has to be convincing essentially for Bitcoin in order for me to say, well, this is over. This uh, move back to the, the 20 week moving average isn't, isn't going to happen. It needs to be a convincing break above and then consolidate again. But at the moment, I just see the volume lowering, even though we're in a, a tightening range. And I, th I still think we're going to have a fall from this point, reach our 16 ish level at the very best. 14, 15,000. So I'm keeping myself ready for that. 
And with that said, let's move across to Ethereum on the US dollar chart. So if that happens, I think we'll see a similar thing play out on Ethereum, at which point that's gonna be my area that I wanna dive in a lot more into Ethereum, because I'm gonna get into the Ethereum versus Bitcoin chart in a sec. I think it's probably gonna come back to around here, that 490, maybe 500, maybe 450, something like that. But that's gonna represent from where we are now, this 586 level, there's another 16%, 20%, and 25, which is the same thing on Bitcoin. So if the ETH versus BTC chart didn't change and just stayed where it was, which is at 0.03, then potentially that's what we would get here on the dollar chart as well. We would see that sort of 25% drop, which would bring us to the 20 week MA, which is at 440 at the moment. If we don't get that far and we only make it to 480, I don't care, you know, it's still a good 10, 15% off from these levels here there you go even 20 percent. so that's the point where i'm like sweet i think i've got a cheap ethereum comparatively speaking i'm happy to go in a lot heavier uh to me the signs are still there that that is possible it'll happen because look at this we move up increased volume and there's just has not been the follow-through we've got higher volume here no follow-through meaning we weren't able to continue up and break it we pushed above it slightly for a brief period but closed beneath it and again, not much is happening here. We've seen a few little swings that aren't actually playing out. So I think we're gonna come back to that point at some point, could be a few weeks from now. Like I've said in a previous video, I think it's gonna be early in January that we'll see that. If not early in a spike low to that point and then continue to consolidate. So I'm on alert for that. That's my plan is Ethereum. And with that said, why? It's because we're gonna look at Ethereum versus Bitcoin. We are under the 20 week moving average for Ethereum versus Bitcoin. We've seen a big volume up here, but what I was getting at is I think this level will hold for Ethereum versus Bitcoin because I like the look of this cup and handle. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that. Look at that, there's the handle. Usually what happens from here is then we get a push through and the measure is generally the level between the low and the high projected from correct me if I'm wrong, from the high level here. I'd project it from the low just to be conservative. Here we go, here's our arrow tool. So let's use that, just go straight up, copy, paste, grab that. If it's from the top, that's gonna get us to around that 0.64, but conservatively, I'm gonna bring it from this point, that's gonna get us to around 0.5. I think that's probably not a bad psychological level for Ethereum to end up, especially from 0.03 probably a little bit of a pullback at that 0.4 again, but I think ultimately we're going to around that 0.5, if not 0.054. So when I say 0.5, 5% essentially of a Bitcoin price. So with all of those in mind, that's why I'm liking, well, that's why I think the narrative here for me is Bitcoin to fall, Ethereum to fall against the US dollar, it's US dollar value. I think it might hold steady against uh, the Bitcoin value and then eventually start to make its way up and then burst up in the US dollar value. That's why I'm liking Ethereum as a better purchase than Bitcoin at the moment. I think we're going to see bigger returns in Ethereum from this point. The thing that could go wrong with that is if we break down from here, if we break this 0.026 level of ETH versus Bit, Bitcoin, and then of course continue to fall to this 0 0.017, so 1.7% of Bitcoin. That's what could go wrong from here, but right now I do like this cup and handle. I wanna see it get back above the moving average from this point, and I want to see Bitcoin fall, and of course Ethereum fall in the US dollar value, and my buy up prices are in those high fours to low 500 areas. So that's my Bitcoin Ethereum plan at the moment. I'm just waiting patiently. I'm not getting in at this stage. What are you guys doing? What are you seeing? Bitcoin Ethereum. Is there another cryptocurrency you want to follow on the channel? Let us know in the comments down below and we'll continue with that as well uh, along the journey of Bitcoin to our, come on, $200,000 Bitcoin. I'm going to keep saying it until it happens. <laughs> we'll wait and see. But uh, yeah, look, if you found some value from that, let us know. Uh, like the video down below, subscribe, share the video with other people who are interested in cryptocurrency space. This is just the beginning. I've got videos on how to buy Bitcoin and how to buy Ethereum in Australia. So go and check those videos out on the channel, probably leave them after this video as well that you can just click on those. 
And apart from that, enjoy the ride. This is gonna be amazing. Really, really cool, excited for 2021. If not, 2020 has been absolutely incredible as well for cryptocurrency space. Well, guys, I'll catch you at the next video. Remember, until then, have more fun to get more done. Peace out.